So you've just overcome one of your two hardest shots of your round. You've just nailed that first tee shot straight down the middle and you need to be able to convert that. So how are you going to do this? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I would go about doing this. So without further ado, let's go. This is Nick Does Golf. Hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel Nick Does Golf. It's great to have you here for this one. Today I am talking all about that second shot on your first hole. It's really one that is pretty much overlooked if I'm honest. So you've got over those first two nerves, you've absolutely slammed one straight down the middle of the fairway but you need to be able to convert that into a good scoring hole to set you on your way for that round. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I would go about converting that into a good scoring hole to start your round with. So let's go. So I've just absolutely buried that drive off the first tee. I've hit it about 270. There is no roll on this course at all at the moment. We've just had a heavy downpour for the last couple of days. But nevertheless, it's a good drive. The adrenaline's been pumping and I've left myself with roughly just over 150 yards to the flag, which isn't bad at all but the flag is situated at the front right portion of the green, just over a bunker, so not ideal. So that is a sucker pin, it's wanting you to get, take your ball into lots of different danger points and we need to try and avoid them. So where are you gonna aim with this? Well, what I advise is that you aim for the center of the green. So if you were to imagine that the flag is not even in the hole at all, where would you be most likely to aim when hitting it into the green? The middle portion of the green so if you pull it you're gonna be on the left side of the green and if you push it you're gonna be on the right side of the green or if you were to unintentionally fade it or draw it you can pretty much guarantee if you've got the distance right that it's gonna be on some part of the green simple right so when looking at your second shot after a good drive off the first you want to make sure that you can convert it so let's give that a go bad effort at all okay but what you can see is that I've allowed myself to have that birdie opportunity a birdie putt and if I just two put then I've made a good solid par ready to go on to the next hole so as you can see the ball is just left of center where my aim point was it's not too bad the ball spun back a little bit but as you can see it's not too bad in relation to the flag the flag is short right on this green so this means that I've got a decent Look at Birdie, it's an uphill putt as well. Let's see if we can convert it. Nice, so as you can see there, that has left me with a pretty easy par uh, for the first hole here at the Shropshire. It's a really difficult hole, it's stroke index one, the perfect start really to uh, the round that you want. You can be nice and settled going into those next few holes, especially if they are quite difficult as they are here at this club. You need to make sure that you are giving yourself the best opportunity to get comfortable into your round so you can settle down and score well and play to your strengths. So I hope that little video there is going to help you to realise and recognise that there is an opportunity on that first hole for you to be able to settle those nerves down and help you get as comfortable as possible into that round. Or even make a birdie. That first hole, especially in a competition, is never easy. So if you can realise and get to grips with how you need to play that, focus on hitting the middle of the green every single time, you're going to be onto a winner for sure. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, ding, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you haven't even realised you're doing because you're so focused on that first tee shot? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. 
as well as that hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already i'd really appreciate it as i grow my youtube channel and get to deliver more free content out to you guys as much as possible so get to work check out my social media platforms they are all in the description box down below i'm on instagram twitter and tiktok to keep up to date with me give yourself a chance you never know you might even convert one or two thanks very much for watching and see you all on the next one